Hey, happy Sunday. I just wanted to pop on here and encourage everybody. Um, you see I'm out and about. Yeah, ministry never stops. I'm on my way to uh, check on my seniors. Um, I got to take a senior to the store. Um, on my way to check on my other child, my son, and make sure he has everything that he needs. Also, we got some things going on at the house. My house is done. Thank you. My house is done. Um, I'm so grateful for this season that God has given. Not saying that I'm grateful that people are dying or anything. I'm just grateful. You got to be able to be grateful and be thankful to God in the things that he allows. However he allows it. The season to be able to um, commune with him to get to know where you are with him, for him to pour into you, downpour into you. Um, far as my house and a lot of other houses that I know, this season has not been a season of fear. It's been a season of restoration. It's been a season of, you know, God taking care of things, God providing. Um, don't have to worry about no bills or nothing. I mean, my kids are getting you know, unemployment, being paid to stay home, um, really ain't got to look for a job because ain't nobody hiring. Um, so they're seeing the blessings of God. Yes, they want to go back to work. They want to get back in the hustle and bustle. But a seasoned saints know that it's time to reflect on God. So in fear is not of God. I know faith and fear have the same definition. You know, faith is the substance of things unseen. So is fear is the substance of things unseen. But you have to take a positive approach and do faith. And faith comes by hearing. I'm going to stop it right there. Faith comes by hearing. That's a whole nother message. What you're listening to is going to provide you faith or it's going to provide you fear. If I was to sit at home all the time thinking that, okay, staying at home is going to stop the COVID virus or whatever, then I wouldn't be out here taking care of my seniors. You know, I got a call the other day that one of my seniors is in the hospital because um, he felt some stomach pains or whatever. Now, I went as far as I could. I couldn't go into the hospital, but, you know, prayer can go even further. But the fact that they, you know, call and let me know what's going on. The fact that I have seniors sitting in a in a, a home just sitting there riddled with fear because of sitting there listening to the news media and everything that's going on, talking about, you know, the older generation. Well, you know, there's younger generation that's dying too behind the COVID-19. Uh, so it all depends on what you're sitting there listening to. You need to feed yourself with the word of God. Feed yourself, you know, the Bible. Listen to people that the proof is in the pudding, I want to say. There's a whole lot of preaching and a whole lot of speaking going on right now on social media. And I'm going to be the first to say all of it ain't of God. So the devil, he got a platform too. So it's the wheat and the tear thing. You need to make sure that they're, that you're listening to something that is edifying to your spirit that it's for you all word ain't for you everybody ain't on the same level um god gave me a message about the ship you know with jesus um was sleep on the ship um i'm i'm gonna think i'm gonna hire my daughter so she can post these things or whatever because i don't have the patience to sit there and try to get it off the phone and all these other kind of things so i'm gonna hire my daughter and i'm gonna have her post it i have my YouTube channel, my iTunes channel, I have all these, at SoundCloud, I have all these platforms. So therefore, I don't know, maybe I'll bring it over to Facebook Live. We'll see how that go. Um, but I'll get her to post that message. I think she should have it posted by, by Wednesday. But by when Jesus was in the ship. And the ship was called COVID-19. So, when we in this ship, everybody's not in the same compartment everybody's not going through the same thing even though it's the same storm everybody's not going through because everybody is on a different level um the level of integrity god blesses us according to our level of integrity where is your integrity at um the last bible study that we did at the for my seniors was talking about 
you know, where the first one, I forgot what the first one's name, Ephesus, Church of Ephesus, where they had, you know, they left and they, they didn't, they fall away from their first love. I'm trying to talk and pay attention to traffic at the same time. But um, they fell away from, the, they fallen away from their first love. That was the, the last message that we did, you know, in group. I think I'm going to put the rest of those, that series on, on YouTube. But um, falling away from my first love, that's what some did. And there was some, you know, I preached a message about religious spirits or whatever, and then I was asking what was going on. I didn't know God was going to do this, but, you know, the word he gave me was Revelations 2 and 20 about suffering Jezebel, you know. So I had to take care of some things in my life, back away from some things in my life. And as I did that, let go and let God, God lifted everything and everything is doing what it's supposed to do. Um, I'm blessed. My family's blessed. I mean, my kids are experiencing overflow now. So it ain't all bad for everybody. It's all depend on your perception of where you look at it. Um, some of us needed this rest. Some of us needed, you know, the communion with God. And that's what this is for the, the saints, the communion with God. And if you are one that don't know God for yourself, this is a prime opportunity to learn God, to get to know God. As one of my apostles always say, he said, if I wasn't saved today, I would get saved. That's my apostle, Katie Allen. I met him. He came all the way from Arkansas. I never met him in a day of my life. And he came just to give me the word that God called me to be a pastor. That God called me into the ministry. Never knew this man at all. All the way from Arkansas. So God will send word or people from you, for you, from all parts of the, of the earth. So I'm about to go in here and pick up my senior and take him to the store and get the things that they that he needs and everything and then I gotta go take care of my child and everything and um, like I said I'm covered by the blood um, when you accept Christ you're covered by the blood ain't gotta worry about no doorposts when you covered your household is covered so don't walk in fear walk in faith everybody stay blessed